Oh, hopefully you guys are enjoying. We've had some really cool games. Both of these players are in a bit of a tough spot, honestly. Zest, a pink Protoss player, down to the bottom left-hand side. He's currently down 1-2 in math and score in this group. And he's playing against Euronics Gaming's Nurcio, who's down 0-3 so far in this group. Snoot is currently sitting at a 3-3 uh, a map score. And Innovation sitting at a... Um, Innovation sitting at a 5-1 uh, map score. So Innovation looking pretty good to get through here now. Um, it's not, you know, if he gets freed by Zest, then it could go a bit haywire. Whoever wins this series will be in a good spot too, but basically Snoot... It, well, it's really interesting how this is going to end up. Um, I tell you what, we're not going to talk too much about group positions just yet, because we'll talk about that maybe after this series when we just have two matches left to be played, and we have a bit of a better idea of the exact situations. What's up, Oglax coming in with that Twitch Prime sub just there. Thank you very much for subscribing with that Twitch Prime. Do you appreciate it? Can you get some Warty Hearts in the chat, please? For a brand new sub, welcome to the Warty family. If you do want the replay pack of 350 replays, Oglax, do just send me a Twitch whisper. but I'll send it to you by the end of the day. So thank you very much for that. Do you appreciate it? We're only 20 subscribers, by the way, guys, away from our uh, new sub emote. Haven't got it made yet, but we need to unlock it first. So 20 subscribers away, pretty exciting times. Really, really cool. 20 sub points, I should say. Tier 2 and Tier 3 subs. Counting as more sub points than just a normal sub. And, uh, yeah, obviously it's September. Half price subscription. So, if you ever wanted to support the channel, it's a great time to do so. Yeah, Tier 3 sub for $12.50. Help us push towards that sub, uh, sub emote. I'm back in a way or so. Anyways, let's go into game number one of this. Uh, thank you again, Oglax, for the Twitch Prime. Nothing crazy early. Hatch gas pool from Nurture. One black pink. One of the chokiest maps that we've seen. Again, super small natural and main base um, is the one thing that we really have been kind of talking about a lot here on this map. Fed Bay is generally being taken down here, which has just this very narrow choke into it, which you can even knock down with the cooling tower. And there's a base on the low ground as well you can also look to take. We haven't really seen Blackpink deliver very long games at all. We've seen very heavy ma uh, cheeses on this game or aggressive play styles. Intrigued to see what Zest's going to do. Uh, because Zest has been playing these kind of games, I guess, where, uh, I mean, he's playing, been playing a very similar style against uh, Snoot in all three games that he played, so I guess we'll see how he does here now as we set up into this. I'm just waiting for the Zest versus Innovation match, says Snarra35. Yeah, do let us know which matches you're looking forward to today, guys, or which matches you really enjoyed, if you've cheering on anyone in particular to get out of this group. I'd love to hear all your thoughts and opinions on all of that. As we set up into this, uh... Again, first game of the free game series here, into the latter half of our tournament now. Second half of our tournament. Group stage today. After the day, still four more days of map contest action. Tomorrow, Group D taking place with Bjorn, Sola, Serral, and Haas. And then we're going to be having, on Wednesday, tiebreakers, starting a little bit earlier than usual, followed by the quarterfinals. Thursday will be semifinals and third place match day, and grand finals will be on Friday. Just two players will be left there, so we'll play 15 maps back to back. A few Zerglings still just uh, gathering together an Oracle from Zest. Going to be coming up towards the upper right hand side. Have a little bit of a look to see just what it can get up to in the next couple of moments. So, Oracle moving around, having a look to see what's going down. Flare and the Rotoron coming into play here from uh, Nature as well. So, again, just setting up in towards this. Rotron is actually going to cancel and start building an evolution chamber. And again, a couple more gateways just on the way up here from Zest. So, setting up in towards this, we're going to see this Phoenix actually picks off an Overlord. And this little uh, shutdown right there. And we do see this uh, hatchery, this last sorry, morphing on in. So, fairly quick lair with a Rotron. Fairly standard to set up against maybe Archon based players. But, uh, sorry, he doesn't have a Rotron, does he? So, just a lair early on. Maybe a fast Hydra den here from Nurtio. Maybe looking to be kind of aggressive early on. As we will see, Zest going to take the low ground third base. Uh, some Lings nibbling away that and do get the cancel nice and early. We saw Zest with a little bit of trouble holding this third earlier. But uh, not not too much. I mean, these Lings always can be a bit of a frustration if you're just not quite set up with the Pylon Nexus adept positioning. Those Lings can get quite a lot done very quickly. It's just so easy to make those Lings and get them into the action so early on and so quickly as well, of course. So something you have to be a little bit cautious of, I suppose. 
you know, not the end of the world to have a cancelled nexus at this stage. Obviously, Nurture did make these lings rather than drones, so he has to get something out of them. And that's what he's uh, doing right now. Again, these lings continue to move around. We're just going to be seeing the uh, few adepts continue to move around it as well. And a few more hydras on the way up, zerglings as well. And again, that muscular augment is on the way up on the Hydra's den, so continue to set up in towards this right now. Continue to see what sort of direction we're beginning to head on into. Nature. Making workers, our oh, units, offer 48 workers is obviously in this sort of situation where he's just looking for the Ling Hydra all in. He's looking to push across the map, he's looking to end this quickly and early. And really in the next few minutes, actually. So pushing over here, Nurcho. Looking to uh, end game number uh, game number one. Big like Ling Hydro timing. Now what does uh, Zess have? Well, he's actually got a couple of Archons and a couple of Adepts across the map. That's not really going to help him over here unless he can get some damage done. Nurcho's already evacuated his third base of drones, though. So not going to be a lot of damage really dealt over here at all. This third uh, Nexus is starting to go down. You're going to see the War Prism's going to fall on Nurcho. He's going to push his way through this. The Archon drops, the Adept goes down there. And that's going to be seen again. A couple of Zells, the Archon and the Adept. Continue to push on forwards right now. Again, a few Hydras pulling back from Nurture up this ramp in towards the natural expansion. And again, Hydras and Nurture pushing forwards here. We keep on uh, fighting. We're going to see a couple of these Zells going down. The Archon falls as well. And that'll be, uh, well, Zess completely cleaned up on the offensive. Lost his third Nexus too. And so now Nurture can just go across the map and pretty much just wrap up for game number one it seems in his favor a little bit of again a game on blackpink which just seems to be and ends kind of quick it's kind of funny it just keeps happening this map uh not really being the macro map so far that we may be expected to be we're gonna see these lanes and hydras running forwards and we're gonna see those zealots taking a little bit of damage too a couple more hydras coming through the center again hydras just gonna keep on kiting backwards now and the zealots keeping on going down i'm just gonna be continuing to drop here some more zealots dropping Again, Hydra's on the way up again, another Queen. Plus two attack upgrade coming through on the Forge as well. And the War Prism from Zest will be coming up the left-hand side. Looking to move across here to see what else it can get up to. Looking to try and get something going for himself once again in this game, but man, not going to be easy. And he's already, again, trailing, struggling. What else can you really look to do at this point, I guess? Two items have the Warping in, two Zalots as well. Archon will start to morph here. And there's again the Ling Hydra of Nurture getting set up to keep pushing forwards. Yeah, and Zest really just taking so much damage early, it's a difficult one to recover from. And obviously, Nurture in a position where he can just fairly freely drone up from where he was, set up into upgrades, and so and just play that game where he catches up in tech and the drones that he kind of uh, cancelled earlier, basically. So, uh, yeah, just moving on in towards the next stage of this, and again, Zest looking troubled in game one. Did end up taking one map against Snoot, remember? Again, for Snoot right now, in terms of hoping to get through this group, I think one of the best situations for him, you can see this actual, I hope that's full because this attack is sort of happening. Warp is getting pushed away again, though, to the point where he has to just abandon these Zelts and Archons. Zelts and Archons going into the third Nexus, uh, third hatchery at the same time, but there's just so many Hydralisks, and already one Archon getting caught going down, and the Archon to the left side is just out of position, and Zest is really just all over the place. I don't even really know what's going on for him. Nurture just cleans up so easily and so simply. Best situation here for Nurture, uh, for Snoot, sorry, would be to win this, uh, to see either of these players win in this, two games to one. Probably Nurture, because it really takes Zest out of the running. Obviously, Snoot still needs a good performance against Nurture. But, uh, to be Keep tuning in, guys. So many good games coming up. I mean, the way the playoffs are going to be looking, it's going to be pretty insane. I'm really looking forward to it all. As we start to the top left hand side with our Pink Zerg player, uh, Pink Protoss player, sorry, it is going to be Zest. He's going to be going up against the Red Zerg to the bottom right hand side, Nurture.
Lots of discussion about these maps in the games, by the way, on the Team Liquid thread, which is super awesome. Super cool to read through. View set up into this just hatch first from Nurtu. So reading a bit about uh, Stuart just posting as well quite a lot throughout and uh Interesting to see Snoot sort of uh, discussing the maps and so on. Being reading Snoot's post, especially with interest, because I think if you want to really understand the maps, then obviously the map makers are good ones to talk to, but the pro players playing on them as well. Also, very uh, important to talk to. I don't know why these gases keep exploding, it's kind of interesting just going like poof, up into the uh, up into the sky. And crazy stuff. Again, it's kind of hard to run a map test kind of t uh, tournament because obviously it's going to be a little bit unfair to the players, right? I mean, obviously, and especially like it, it's kind of tough. Like we have to at some point like bring a, you know, we have to at some point get all the maps played, right? And to get all the maps played, we have to limit vetoes and stuff like that. So it can be kind of tough which maps become available for each player and stuff like that, so... It can be a little bit brutal. A little bit brutal in these tournaments. Anyways, um, this is EVP just setting up. Stargate getting ready to roll here from Zest. So that's coming on out. I mean, the first Adept's already out of the gateway. And the first Adept coming through the center of the map. Continuing to get set up and ready to go, so... Just setting up here again. Really slow starts. Nothing too crazy. No early action. As we set up on Acid Plant. Again, a map coming in from the standard category has been one of the more nicer standard maps to watch, which has got an interesting sort of setup for third and fourth base choices. Very easy to defend, easy to kind of get aggressive as well, though at the same time. it's It's got such a nice mixture kind of feel to it where a lot of different things are possible, and I think obviously that is one of the things which uh, becomes kind of uh, important here as we're going to be seeing the uh, adapt. Gonna come in, picks off a Zerglin. It's gonna be seeing this Oracle on the way up from Zest, so getting set up and ready to go. Again, there's a depth coming in towards the middle of the map as well. Just scouting around early again, neither player really doing anything too much so far. Nurture, of course, up until this point has been uh, uh, up until this point has been sort of kind of creating a scenario, I guess, where he's just been playing very standard. He played aggressively in the first game, obviously, but. Uh, Does Nerd have to win two over Zest and two over Snoot to advance? I don't really know right now. I haven't looked at the scores. It'll be much easier to see after the Nerd Show Zest series who needs what to advance. But generally, we haven't really seen people with less than a 5 4 map score getting through. So, really. And by the way, you can win 3 0 as well because every map gets played no matter what. So, really, Nerd Show needs to. Nerd Show needs to kind of go. And just win as many maps as possible. I think he at least needs to beat Zest 2-1. And then probably 3-0 Snoot. That would give him a 5-4 map score. And that would put Snoot down to... That would put Snoot down to, what? 2-3... That would put Snoot down to just a 4-7 map score. The thing is, if Snoot wins one map against Nurture, he's on a 5-4 already. And so then Nurture really needs to do well elsewhere, so... Bit of a tough one. Anyways, we see uh, Stargate into the Robo Twilight and Forge here for game number two. Setting up in towards this. And again, just a few more drones on the way out. The melee upgrade coming through here from Nurture as well. And again, probes continue to build in the natural expansion. Warp Prism is on the way up also. Continue to set into this and uh, yeah, just getting this set and ready to roll. Vainlin Ness is coming on down in the back of this mineral line. And again, drones just mining away. Extractor coming down as well for Nurture. And this group team are just pushing on forwards over to the right hand side. Again, Temple Archives coming on Ifru. Charge as well, and we're going to see Zest doing very similar zesty sort of things to what we've seen him doing throughout today. Just going up towards the free bases with the 7 to 8 gates, charge and archons, and really just being very aggressive with those. And again, it, it worked against Suit finally on the third game he tried it. 
Let's see if you can win the game number two against Nurture to take us tied up before the third game, rather than playing from the 2-0 from Nurture's advantage. So again, you see this Prism settling up. A few High Temple are going to come in. It is actually going to be eight gates in total. I uh, thought there was actually only three gateways already up, but it turns out there was four with four more. About to finish, so first two Archons already morphed in, and they're going to get set to go with a whole bunch of Zealots here, of course, in the near future. So getting those Warpins ready to keep on rolling. Ling Bane on the way out from Nurture. Again, already setting up to defend, though, and with so many units already getting ready to roll, it feels as though it's going to be kind of difficult for Zest to really do much with this. Queen's doing good damage. The Oracle drops the Revelation to keep a track on these units. And again, Zest so far being forced to push the pull back a little bit. And maybe a game where Zest really just has to instead now think about moving into something other than just these Archons and Zelts and attacking, just because Nurture already does have quite a lot. Though now investing into a Hydrogen and some more drones, is that kind of opportunity perhaps for Zest to find an opening? And these Zelts and this arc are going to back away as we see the two Archons going in towards the main. So uh, Zest going to split himself up a little bit, similar to what he did against Snoot earlier, which had a lot of success. Nurture doing a good job, splitting up his Banes and all sorts though. It's the sort of thing which obviously is going to give the Zerg player a lot of success, keeping his units around the map in different locations. You'll see the Zelts actually going to start warping in here once again. Decides to just cancel and back away. I think Zest is just realizing in general here, he isn't going to be able to get much else done. Backs the way up the right hand side, more Hydras on the way out, six of them currently being built, seven of them being built. A few more drones on the way out too. And again, a couple of Zelts and an Archon getting a cancel on the hatchery here out front. Now some Zelts going to loop around the far left bottom left hand side to see what else they can do in the next few moments. Queens and Nurture will push on forwards as well here, trying to do just a little bit more, and again an Oracle going to get picked away at. Just taking a little bit more damage once again. Some more Hydras just on the way out, and again a fourth hatchery. Dropping down from Nurgio. Still pushing this creep out onto the map. Plus two attack upgrade on the forge. And some extra gateways coming down also now. Continue to set up in towards this. Just going to be seeing the uh, overseer here. About halfway done, going to be finishing soon. And again, some Zelts and High Tempers just going to keep on warping in to the right hand side. Zest going to get ready to push on forwards, then he's in three different locations, man, he's got armies everywhere. You can see this little army though, going to get caught a little bit off guard as Ling Bane runs in towards it. Banes? Uh, he can use a little bit on the uh, Archon. Now you see Zest pushing in from the right hand side and the left. Again, Nurture just has to keep repositioning to deal with all of this. Four more gates and Zest really is just so committed to the Zealot Archon attacks. He just keeps building up into them and just he's just afraid to seemingly kind of go into anything else here. As we're going to be seeing now, these Zelts and Archons pulling back over to the right hand side. You're going to see a few more Zelts just warping on in. And they're going to be pushing forwards as well. Nedjo finds an opportunity though, and he says, Right, let's go across the map because I feel as though this is how this game goes well for me. So I was going to find themselves a Hydra or two here and want some morphing in the spines, but again, not really much is going to get done overall. And now the Banes and Zergans are going to catch him to really stop him from getting any further away. Well, Ling's Hydra's and Banes just gathering up on the left side. A couple of Archons going to be uh, getting taken down, and an overcharge being dropped. And Archons looking to see what else is, uh, what else they can get up to. Ten more Zelts warping in this storm. Now about to finish up. If Zelts can get up to Storm, then maybe he can find a way to fight this. But man, he really hasn't been trading very well for us so far. The fight over here is a little bit better now. Finally, the Hydras get behind the Zerglings, but not too many of them, not too quickly. Resources loss is actually 4.5 to 4.7k, so maybe it's not going as badly for Zest as it really looks like it is. He's kept Nurture down, kind of 5-ish workers throughout. Income leads, being a bit back and forth throughout. You can see that army supply from Nurture grows massively. This one big loss here from Zest does hurt. Let's see what he can do then if he's uh, obviously maybe got the uh, apparent economy or so to do this. Let's see what he can get up to. Overcharge here to help him defend. Obviously, he needs to defend right now if he doesn't. May as well start getting some good vibes to this game. And maybe even his chances of moving through this group as we're going to be seeing Ling's Hydra's Banes hitting this uh, third base. The uh, Archon's coming in to try and save the day on those Banelings, but 18 workers going down. The plus two melee is so deadly because obviously with plus two melee, those Banes just one shot the workers. And if you're one shot the workers, man, do they drop quickly. You can see this uh, couple of low health Archons are just about to survive though to clean out this left hand side. Again, Zest heavy eco damage taken, but there's also Zealots across the map doing a lot of damage in the natural of Nurgio. So Zest continue with the aggression, he will lose the fourth phase. 
He's cleaned out an army over here. He's got potential to get this army over here because it's trapped. There's nowhere it can actually go to. This cannon is actually doing some pretty serious damage to these uh, deaths right, uh, to these hydras right now, which sounds kind of crazy, but it's actually really starting to add up a little bit. Archon trapped in the back. You can see the Archon really needs to come through here. If it had already come through, it might have been able to save the day a little bit uh, sooner. Hydra can get lower and lower. He's going to bring it down to just two, but that'll be all he gets. 67, 65 to 89 supply. What's going down now, Possessed? I don't actually know. Now Zerg play is up on four bases though, and that's one of the issues here. So you can see this immortal pushing forward. He's going to get caught as well. A bit of a miss while he's possessed. A really important time in the game where he can't really be affording to lose any extra units, but that immortal is going to go down. And well, what, what now, I guess? No, Archon going to be morphing in once again. And some Hydras. Well, Link's going to move into Banes. We're going to push through here to get access towards the third Nexus. Nurture begins to expand in towards the fifth base. Still no re-expansion from Zest up to the top side. It's coming around the side with a lot of Archons, by the way. I wonder if Zest maybe has enough tech to really justify pushing through and doing a lot of damage. Just warp in the main, so that's going to hit that mineral line again. And again, a lot of this right now for Zest is about the counter-attacks, about the damage you can do around the map, if given the chance. These Hydras are going to get charged onto as well. Some Banes coming through, though. Again, that is one of the things which really makes it a lot easier to clean this up, as that warp prism being chased by hydras on creep, not going to find a way to get away. Still Archons to the left-hand side. Problem is now Nurture again had a big chunk of eco advantage for a while, and while Zest did uh, bring back that army supply differential, Nurture is starting to build it up all over again. Now Zest does have storms, he's got Archons, he's got techie units to make this work. And into the shield upgrade as well. I kind of like it, the idea of just giving those Archons a huge extra buffer. He needs to make sure he's got enough Zealots though. He needs the Archons to tank the Banes, enough Zealots to then tank the Hydras while the Archons deal damage along with those Storms. Zest really needs everything just to kind of come together right now going into this. Uh, 30 minutes, game number two. Some Archons getting to work. Oh, cannot afford the Banes to hit onto the High Templar, of course. Archons actually leading the charge here. Some Hydra's going down, but really needs another Storm, I think, to really help kind of, again, just make it so the Archons get through a bit faster. Otherwise, they do fall into a lot of trouble. Bring those Zealots warping in. Hydra's, Lings, and Banes coming around the right-hand side once again. In this moment, we'll get ready to push on up in towards this rebuilding fourth Nexus. Zest finally getting that back onto the table here. As you can see, Zealots and Archons pushing forwards. A couple of Spines getting picked away at. Ooh, the Spines getting taken down very early. You can see the... Uh, I just starting to get taken down here as well, and looks as though, yeah, again, Zest is sort of getting segregated here. He's taking the fight to the top and through the south. He can't really, apparently, fight in all the locations at the right time, and now he doesn't have any storms. These Hydras are just going to catch all of the Archons. The Zelts are way too late to the party. So Nurture takes game. Number. Obviously, it does go a long way to supporting the channel, of course. If you're looking for other ways to support, hit that follow button. You can uh, subscribe and donate and cheer as well. Subs are half price this month. We're 20 subs away from a new sub emote slot. Whoop, whoop, hype, hype, do 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 do. Bottom left hand side, I think Protoss player. It is going to be Zest here for game three of this best of three on Octane, a map by Mavis. Blue Zerg player up right from uh, here us is uh, Nitchu. This is Nitchu. 12th pool in here in game number 3 of the series and we come into the game just to see these lingers begin to cross the map. So Nurture is trying to pick up a fast third win. Let's see what he can get up to. So lingers coming across here looking to see what they can do. And see what damage they can deal. As there's going to be arriving, so you can see this pylon is uh, going to be working its way, uh, Ling's going to be working its way through the pylon, but of course Zest probe scouting gives him the chance to kind of well, set the Zelda up to fight this, but I'm not sure why he let his Zelda get surrounded here. What was... Why would he get the... Uh, uh, I don't know, another Zelda pops out and he's going to start fighting again. This time he'll pull back a bit more carefully, I, I would hope. He gets surrounded again. 